self join it's basically the inner join only in which we consider only the overlap or the common records between the two tables but only major difference here is the left and right table is the same so you can see in this diagram on the left and right both is table 1 and overlap is the same as it's basically inner join only so it's just the overlap of records we consider and only difference being left and right tables are same so now let's see what is the practical use of self join so here you can see that we have two tables tbl employee actually single table only but we have considered two times because as we have seen earlier that in case of self join we use the same table right the left and right table are the same so for joining over here the left table is tbl employee and also the right table taken over here is tbl employee now let's see the actual use of self join so here what is the requirement is we want to display the employee name and its manager name okay so we want to display the employee name and its manager name so this is basically very important and also asked in interviews so this is very important kind of uh, join and also it has a practical use so normally in interview the question is what is self join and give a practical example so now let's see what is the practical use of this so you have over here three employees vinod alex and john and you can see over here we have a column which is manager id now for employee whose employee id is 1 manager id is 2 now what does that means manager id is 2 means a employee whose employee id is 2 which is alex so vinod's manager is alex why alex because what is the manager id 2 and what is the name of employee whose employee id is 2 it's alex okay similarly you can see over here in this record for employee id 2 employee name is alex what is the manager id for alex 3 now what is the name of employee whose employee id is 3 it's john so alex manager will be john okay so this is our result set the notes manager is alex alex manager is john so what i have done over here is to make your visualization simple i have considered the table and arranged in such a way that this single row is in a single line okay so now let's understand how we are going to implement this now for Vinod we want to find the manager okay so now suppose we want to find the manager of Vinod what is the manager ID of it it's 2 so now what is our next work we want to find the employee whose employee ID is 2 and name of it so let's see that in that case we will use the second table as a source to get the manager name okay so what is our work we have to find a employee whose employee id is 2 and get its name so what is the manager id over here 2 we'll go in this table and search the record where employee id is 2 so we'll get this record now just for this employee id 2 we have to get the name right so what is the name it's alex so that is our manager name so in short what we have to do 
we have to just establish the bonding between these two rows. So now how do we establish the bonding between these two rows? It's very simple. What we have to do? Manager ID of this table, manager ID of this table should be equal to employee ID of the second table. Correct? So what will happen if we put this condition, this record would be merged or this record would be accessible to us. Got it? So then once this record is accessible to us, this column employee name, we will say that as employee name and this employee name, we will tell it as manager name. Okay, now let's consider the second example or second row. What is the second row? It's having employee ID is two. What is the name? Employee name is Alex. What is the manager ID? Three. Now with this manager ID, what we have to do now? We have to go in this table and find the employee whose employee ID is three. So which is that row? It's this row, three, John and null. So basically to get that same concept, we have to tell manager ID of this table should be equal to employee ID of this table. So with that, what will happen? This entire record would be accessible to us. Then what we will do? We will just take this employee name. This will be our employee name. And this employee name, we will term it as manager name, right? So here is our result set. We took, we know this is our employee name and this Alex, we took it as manager name. Same for the next row, Alex, this goes as employee name and John, this goes as a manager name. So this is how our result set got generated. See over here, this is a practical example of a self join. So the point which we discussed, it's basically nothing but inner join. Only difference is in with inner join is here the left table and right table which are there both are same right as you can see over here both are tbl employee but now to distinguish between these two tables what we have given the alas right alas names are different one is having emp and one is having mgr so while joining we are considering EMP dot manager ID is equal to MGR dot employee ID. The thing which we discussed earlier, right? Manager ID of first table and joining with employee ID of second table. So later what we have to do just is fetch the employee name from the first table and that we will term it as employee name and manager's employee name. The second table's employee name, we will term it as manager name, right? So here is our result set, employee name Vinod, manager name Alex, again employee name Alex and its manager is John. So I hope you would have liked this video. So if you want me to make a video on any particular topic, just write that in the description box. And please, please like this video and do subscribe this channel. Thank you.